what neighborhood started out as an ostrich farm and also has no university no university and is also known as a streetcar suburb a streetcar suburb that would be university, university heights. heights i'm chris hyatt with big lock realty and here today on live laugh and learn and gal pal about town danielle berkeley we're going to talk to you today about University, University Heights. Heights. We are in what used to be an ostrich farm. That's correct. Where people could ride them. That's correct. They and could. And then it became a garden. It was a lily pond. Yes, former lily pond. Former lily pond. And and this whole neighborhood, University Heights. Why is it called University Heights? Because there is no university. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> and tell us about that. Well, what happened was is they were going to, as the town built up over here, they wanted to put in a university and they couldn't because it just eventually went defunct and the funds weren't there. So no uh, drama behind funding that. Funding issue. Funding yeah, issue. funding issue. Okay. <laughs> and so then after University Heights, did they develop this area into something particular? They call it Mission Cliffs Garden over here. And what you'll find is a lot of the historical remnants of the ostrich farm, such as this beautiful cobblestone behind me. They have the original gate as well of the farm. They preserve that in the front and I believe of Mission Cliff Gardens. And I believe you can see it on the other side too. And as you alluded to earlier, the Charlie Brown Park, which is one of our favorite parts of, of, of University Heights, what kind of stuff happens there? Oh, it's so great. You have like Friday night fun nights, a lot of bands, people come out and barbecue, just the whole neighborhood comes out and, and gets together and it's a great park. There are playgrounds, there are so many different types of spaces. And do they have movie nights in the summertime too? They do, they do. Awesome. They have movie nights outside. It's really fun. Very cool. Awesome. So many fun things to see and do here in University. So Danielle, in this wonderfully eclectic neighborhood of University Heights, tell us about some of the awesome things we could do here to entertain ourselves. Well, for starters, Chris, we are standing right in front of the Diversionary Theater. And really back in the day, it's very historical in the LGBTQ community. Awesome. And it's a can't miss. And once you're done putting out your jazz hands, you can go down the street and there is a bevy of delicious dining. Such as? We have Park House Eatery, one of the oldest uh, in University Heights. It's great. Also great for brunch. I was going to say brunch. I've had brunch there. It's really amazing. Yeah, really it is. And then we have Madison, which is new and it's got gorgeous architecture. You have to go. Delicious cocktails. And some really unique cultural sprinkles here too, aren't there? Absolutely. A bon thai and musita. Musita. What's musita? Musita is Ethiopian food. It's absolutely de delicious and no silverware required. Excellent. So this awesome neighborhood of University Heights is bound to the north by Mission Valley and to the west by Hillcrest and to the east by Normal Heights then Kensington Talmadge area, but Normal Heights is right up next to it. And then to the south by North Park. What an incredibly, awesomely centrally located neighborhood. It's a pocket. And there's so much diversity here, right? Danielle, talking oh, about housing styles. What do we absolutely. get here? Absolutely. You have a people who really take pride in the architecture here. There's over 170 historic homes ranging from bungalows, Spanish colonial, you'll see uh, mid-century, you're going to see minimalist architecture. It really runs the gamut here and a lot of colors and a lot of life. There's so much diversity. There's a little something for everyone. It's not the cheapest neighborhood, but it's also not the priciest. Very surprisingly, the median home price in this neighborhood is $1.1 million dollars which sounds like a lot, but in the county of San Diego, it's actually not too bad. And you get a breeze. So that's our tour of the really incredible, eclectic, interesting and amazing University Heights neighborhood. See you next time on Live, Laugh and Learn with Chris and my gal pal about town, Danielle Berkeley. Have a good one.